Hello and welcome back to another episode of Scratch Coding Space Technology. My name is Miss Adira and I work at the Trenton Free Public Library on 120 Academy Street in Trenton, New Jersey. In the previous episodes, we have made rockets fly, jetpacks wheel around in the sky, and guided ships through space. In this installment, we are going to create a satellite that will orbit, or circle, around the Earth. The satellite is far away enough that it can float in space, but not too far away that, so that it comes crashing back down to Earth. Satellites are used to bring information from space back down to Earth. If you've ever used a cell phone, a GPS, or seen a weather forecast, then you have used a satellite. So to create our satellite, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to scratch.mit.edu and start creating. We're going to close out these extra windows and delete the cat. Silly cat, animals need spacesuits to go into orbit. Next, we're going to give ourselves the backdrop of space by looking in the bottom right corner and clicking on Choose a Backdrop. Then we're going to scroll through our options and choose space. After we have chosen space, we're going to click on the Choose a Sprite button and select Earth as one of our objects in space. Now we need to give our Earth some code in order to get it to behave more like the Earth. In the code section, we are first going to drag over from the event section when green flag clicked. Then under, we are going to add the motion block, go to X, Y, and set our X as zero and our Y as zero. From the control category, we are going to add the forever repeat block and then add from the motion category, the turn right block and set it to one degree. Be careful not to get your blocks connected. If you want to test out your code on this part, you should have an earth that spins around in a circle. We are going to draw our own satellite next. On the Choose Your Sprite button, find the paintbrush option and select it. It should take you to the drawing board shown. Then we are going to press the button in the bottom left corner, convert to bitmap, and select the rectangle tool. Making sure the tool is set to filled, we are going to set our color to blue. We are going to create a simple rectangle on the right hand side of the drawing board. Then we are going to change the color to gray and create another rectangle in the opposite direction so that the rectangles cross over each other, like a T. The last piece of our satellite to draw are lines on the ends of the first rectangle to look like solar panels on real ones. We are going to choose a darker gray color and create a tic-tac-toe pattern on each side of the first rectangle with the line tool. Now we are done with drawing our satellite. Now to give our satellite some code. Head back over to the code tab on the top left corner. Since the satellite has to orbit around the Earth, the first thing we will need is a speed variable to control how fast our satellite moves around the Earth. Under the variables category, select make a variable, then we are going to write in speed. For this one, we are going to begin with the event category block when green flag clicked. From the looks category, we are going to add the set size block and set our size to 15. From our motion category, we need the block go to x, y, and set our x at 0 and our y at 140. Then we are going to add our variable from the variable category with the block set to. We are going to change the variable to speed and set the number to 2. Underneath that, we are going to add the forever block from the control category. Inside of that, we are going to add three motion blocks. First is the move steps block. We are going to add our variable speed to the empty space in the middle. Then we will add our point towards block. with the drop down selected to Earth. Finally, we are going to choose the turn left block and set it to 89 degrees. 
Now we can test the code one more time. The satellite should spin around the Earth. We have created a satellite that is in orbit. Now that our satellite is in orbit, how can we show that information is being passed back and forth between it and the Earth? We are going to add a ball that represents that information being shared between the two. We are going to add another sprite from the menu in the lower right hand corner. Choose the Add a Sprite option and select Ball. Now we have to give the ball some code to make sure our information goes back and forth. We are going to add the Event Category block when green flag clicked. Then we are going to add the Looks Category block Set Size to and set the size to 10. Below that we are going to add a Forever block from the Control Category. Inside we are going to add the two Motion Category blocks Go To and set that to Sprite 1. and then point towards with that set to Earth. Then we will add from the control category a repeat block. We are going to set our repeat block to 6. Inside the repeat block, add another motion block. This one moves steps and set the steps to 15. Then we are going to add another set of repeat and motion blocks. We are again setting the repeat block to 6 and the move steps block to 15. All done! Press the green flag and watch the satellite orbit around Earth and the information ball go back and forth between the two.